everybody's starting to stay here. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I have to close this door here. Or at least make it partially shut. <clears throat> Switch from the last battle, you know, MVP Boyd, saw the Jill we obtained, nobody fell. So we're all good. Support conversations. I to Titania, which we won't do, but Kieran to Oscar. One of the big reasons why I wanted to keep Kieran alive. And I'm gonna voice this because I love Kieran too much. Hi, Kieran. How are you? What the? Oscar! I love that name! Don't give me such pleasant greetings. I care not for them. What do I do now? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten our second year of enlistment, that we completed horsemanship. That was a final race to the end. My beloved horse and I were flawless, but you beat us by the smallest of margins. Huh? Are you talking about that race you challenged me to? Yeah, that was fun, but I thought the distance between us was at least three lengths. Ha! Liar! Deceitful liar, squinty coward! That was the very moment I marked you as my arch rival. Don't pretend to not care. Uh, wow. I had no idea, but, but why? I must know why you left the Crimean knighthood without a word of explanation. I devoted myself to training with my horse. I worked day and night so I could best my arch rival. And thanks to my extreme devotion, I didn't realize you were gone until six months later. Delinquent Rene Reniger, I think. Um, so you were completely oblivious to everything and didn't realize Oscar was gone until six months after the fact. Um, yeah. Okay. Wait a second, Kieran? How is that my fault? Uh, it's hiding with only Ike, but he's not got too. Ugh. Hey, it's Daniel! No, it's just it please with Daniel. Yeah, how are you guys? You know, which means you're not identical twins, you're fraternal twins! Ugh. Lord. <laughs> it's like, like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been so serious with them. Ugh. Hmm, Amy. Really? Well, Ike's just blunt like that. Okay. Oh gosh, Ike. Yes, if Ike, Mr. I'm oblivious to a lot of things, has figured it out, yeah, you've been too obvious. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, probably a good idea. Oh, 
you know. Poor Ike. And she just looks like a brat. He has a good point there. <sighs> yeah, he's right. Another good question to ask, Ike. Uh, why did you follow us, you silly girl? Ooh. He really brings on the point. Yeah, you might want to stop that little habit of yours. We do have some of those, what you call, half-beasts. They're called, like, goos. Yeah. And this one's a little special one. There's a three-star for a reason. And once we read it all, it's... Yeah, please do explain to us what you're trying to come up with, Boyd. You, and I mean, you don't have that much armor on, Boyd. He's on the verge of something, ladies and gentlemen. Boyd could actually use his mind. Oh, and then that happens. Oh, come on, Boyd. You're messing with your brother. <laughs> now, what this actually initiates is... I'm not going to be able to really show you, but it initiates something called the Triangle Attack. But now you're wondering, and longtime Fire Emblem fans who have played any who know what triangle attacks are, three units make together a triangle and come up with a tap. Usually it's done with people of the same class, but since these guys are brothers, it's a nice little special treat, but then you're like, but Jen, how can you guys do it when you have a guy on a horse who uses lances, a guy with an axe, and a guy with a bow? <clears throat> Very simple, void upon, well, Boyd and Oscar, upon promotion, Boyd naturally will get bows. Oscars can pick, Oscar can pick up bows as an option on promotion. So they'll not be doing it at melee range, but at bow range. And there's your triangle attack. Let's see, EXP. I am going to keep Mordecai and left out. Oh, gosh. And we have a level to Nephine. Not bad. Um, we're going to give a second level to Nephine. Because I really want to use her. Okay. Great strength, not going to... Don't expect a lot on Nephany's strength. We can give her a third level up? Alright. I'll give her that third level up. Oh, that's definitely good. Thank you. Um, is anybody close that I want to level up? He'll be close. Kieran could level up from it. I think I'll give it to Kieran. 
like, yeah, I'm gonna give... No, I'm gonna give Bulk the XP. He'll be close to a level up. Let's see. Um, trying to remember if I still need that, like, Goose Slayer. Um, what I will do is... I'm gonna sell off both of Ike's Iron Swords. Uh, oh, no, I need to go buy Ike some. So all we have is Iron Swords. Okay, so all we have is iron swords. Well, we're gonna give him a fresh. We're gonna give him fresh iron swords. His heart's still good because he's got steels. He's got hand steel iron. He's got some knives. He's good. He's got wind. He's got fire. Um, we're gonna sell the blue gem. Where's the blue gem? Blue gem. There we go. We're gonna sell this blue gem that Oscar obtained. Um, yeah, we're gonna sell off that iron axe. And just, uh, whoops, wrong, wrong slot. <clears throat> We're gonna buy us. Yeah, we're gonna buy another steel for him. Um, Oscar's good on lances. Soren's good. Riss is good. <clears throat> All right, I think we're good. Hold on for just a moment. Haha, <laughs> welcome back. Silly me realized I forgot to close something, but anyway. Ready to start chapter 13. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Could be. Huh. Yeah, it probably is. That is true. Okay. Well, Soren's extremely blunt. And, and harsh. Ah, uh, yeah, if Ike's even questioning, you probably needed a better choice of words there, kid. Boy, whatever. Yes, please do. You are representing the mercenary. Hmm. How kind of you, Alencia. Yes, because if his, he needs to mind his manners, or it's going to be his head. Yeah, true. Okay. So her name is Tanith. He is the she is the deputy commander of Benyon's Holy Guard. Oh, the Apostle? Yeah, let's go find the Apostle. Alright, if she's allowing Ike to go... Oh, more Legoos.
Oh, that's not good. Oh, come on. Oh, you know, that's never a good thing. There, Titania. Oh, yeah, that is definitely something. Well, it's gonna favor us if we help them. Ding! <laughs> Called it! Called it! I think a little too. It would put Benyon in our debt. Yeah, she agrees that we help him, but not for Soren's motive. Yeah, I I understand that. Thank you, princess. Well, it's not always a bad thing, just saying. So, Coastal Benyon. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, that is bad. You don't... Mm -hmm. I understand that. Let's get them. Oh, yeah. Aw. That's true. So this is where Gatry went. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a defense mission. So get to choose 12. Uh, we're going to take Jill out, put in Nephany, and everything else looks good. Conditions! Ike dies or the enemy seizes the location, so you want to make sure that location is heavily defended. Must defend for 12 turns. Oh, it's this son of a... Oh, so we got this dude. Just looking to see who this is. We know it's Dayan. Mm. Trying to think, do I want to run a reposition? a little bit more. All right.
Let's start. Chapter start. So, as you notice, we've got a few enemies here. Mm -hmm. The guards you're not going to be able to see. But, we've got some nice. We've got Halberdier. We got this son of a you know what. We've seen him before. Go back a couple chapters. Um. Anything droppable? Uh, got some archers, got some myrmidons, got some fighters, got some ravens. Got this dude here. Got a mage. Berdier, myrmidon. Not too threatening. Um, just to know, Gatry is back at the level that he... Now you see why he was over-leveled to begin with? Yeah. Any levels that he gained, he s stayed with him. He only now has a Steel Lance and a Vulnery, but he looks a lot... Now he looks like he's a lot more in tune with everybody else. We do have another companion we could come across. Astrid, a Bow Knight. Where she can only use bow. She comes with an iron bow. She has one of the very good, a very good skill here in the case of Paragon. As you can see, it says double the experience points this unit gets. This will level her up very quickly. Astrid is an okay unit. I mean, she's the last, second to last. Or is it second to last, third to last? She can snipe and she's a little bit better on the bow aspect. I'm trying to trying to describe her. She comes also with a knight ward. Where only, of course, knights, soldiers, knights, and paladins. So something raises defense. It's a very good equipment. But We need to keep this to protect it. So we need to really charge on ahead and start a nice steady defense. And actually, not only can Titania recruit anybody from the Grail Mercenaries, or just about anybody from the Grail Mercenaries, Ike, I'm gonna assume Oscar, Boyd, Riss, and Soren, just from who we have and if, if we had others, can recruit our good friend Gatry. Hmm, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so she can't. Doesn't matter. We got we got a nice talk, but I think no, we have to recruit Astrid before we can recruit Gatra. I need to remember that. Silly Jen needs to remember how you recruit characters. So Ike, we're gonna need you to equip uh, Iron Sword. Oh. And then I remembered what I forgot to do. Where's the Seraph robe? Oh, nobody has the Seraph robe. Oh well. Get right over here. Start hawking javelins, Oscar. Gotta defend this place and defend it well. Actually, we'll keep him here for that earth support. Because he does get a nice boy bonus by being near Ike. Get you here. Kitty Kitty Left is going to scurry her way over here. Start making your way across, Soren. Of Nephany. Yeah, Nephany. Sh 
should have tried. Should have figured out if I could put uh, bulk closer. Zihar, Zihar, get over here. And wrists over here. Oh ho ho, what's this? The King of Kilbas? His name is Nizala. Okay. That's not good. Uh oh. So he is the leader of the Ravens. Oh gosh. Oh well. So it looks like somebody's just gonna go and enjoy the show. Pokey poke poke. Howie. Not even any. Oh. Oh, well, I hope that doesn't cause a game over. No, but that means I don't think we can recruit Gatry. Gatry, you better be smart and move your butt to that spot. Somebody better just go to that green box. Yeah, yeah, like you're gonna get by there. Alright, so who are we gonna have playing defense? No, Sorn's not close enough. We're gonna just for at least one turn have these two play defense mission. Just to see. Let's move back to here. Yeah, yeah, and I needed a... Uh... Oh, well. Alright, Nephany. Start hawking those javelins. Nice crit! Oh, 
be right back.